Today we continue to listen the third noble truth, noble truth of the cessation of suffering, Niroda Sicha. So I will read the Pali first. Yagatamin Jabekwe Doka Niroda and Doka Nirodo. So Doka Nirodo is more suitable. So we will recite Doka Nirodo. Katamin Jabekwe Doka Nirodo Ariya Sicha Yota Sa Yewa Tanaya Ase Sa Viraga Nirodo Chago Badine Sago Moti Analeyo. <clears throat> so can you follow me? Katamin Jabekwe Doka nira dori asi jam. Yota sa ye wa dana ya. Asi sa. Wiraga nira do. Chago. Patine sa go. Moti Analeyo. Okay, get the main job, big away. Dogani Rodari as a gem. Yota Sayewa. Tanaya. Asesa. Viraga Nirada Chago Padine Sego Bodhi Analeyo We recite together Katamija Vegawe Doga Nirada Riyasijam Yota sa ye wa tanaya ase sa viraga nirodo chago padine sa go bodhi analeyo kadami ja vega we Doga nirodo riya si jam. Yoda sa ye wa tanaya asesa viraga nirodo chago padine se go bodhi analeyo. Translation, follow me. And what bhikkhus is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. It is the total extension by removing of, forsaking of, discarding of, freedom from, and no attachment to the same craving. Again, okay. and what bhikkhus is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering? It is a total extension by removing of, forsaking of, discarding of, Freedom from and non attachment to the same craving. So, Katamija Bekwe Dogani Rodo Ariasijan would ask the question Bekus, what is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering? And Buddha answer. Yota sa yi watanaya asisa wiraga nirodo, chago, patine sego, 
Bodhi Nalaya. It is the noble truth of extinction of suffering, the real truth which a real should know. It is a complete fading away and cessation of this hunger, the craving without remainder is forsaking and giving up, relinquishing, letting go, release, and abandoning of that craving. The truth of extinction of suffering is the cessation of craving, dana. It is Mudia Sija, or the truth of the origin of suffering. <clears throat> so how do you extinguish that dana? How do you do? How do you extinguish? By practicing Vipassana meditation and by Riya Mega. You can extinguish that dana, the craving or mental defilements. By Vaji or Vipassana Jnana, Vipassana knowledge and Riya Mega knowledge, that craving gets no opportunity to arise and vanish. It is like darkness being dispelled by sunlight. When sunlight comes, or dark, darkness gone. So when you become Arahan, when Aradha Meganyana appears, the craving has no chance to arise and gets extinguished entirely. With the cessation of dana craving, the aggregates of Nama Rupa for new life cannot make their appearance and completely cease to exist. So this not arising of dana or this cessation of craving is called the truth of the cessation of suffering. Cessation of dana, cessation of craving by virtue of Arata Meganyana is complete total extinction of craving and the noblest and highest form of extinction. So this is the highest one, highest form. But there are inferior forms of cessation. For example, when meditator become anagami, the cessation is cessation by virtue of anagami mega. So what Anagami Mega extinguish? Anagami Mega completely extinguish only Kamatana, the craving for sensual pleasures. <laughs> this is for, for Anagami. <clears throat> if meditator become Sakadagami, what craving he eliminates? Cessation by Sakadagami Mega. Eliminates only the grosser forms of Kamadana. 
when the meditators become sotapanna, what craving he or she eradicate? The Sotapati Mega removes the Kamatana that will give rise to rebirth in the four woeful states. So if you become Sotapanna, you will never go down to the lower states because you eradicate the Kamatana. You eradicate Kamatana that will give rise to be reborn in the four woeful states. How about the Vipassana Yogi? Vipassana Yogi also eradicates something. There is another form of cessation which comes about through meditating on the true nature of reality. Meditator try to observe the real phenomena, five aggregates or the psychophysical phenomena, and try to realize true nature of impermanence, unsatisfactoriness, and insubstantiality. During the period of contemplating on these Nama Rupa or five aggregates, Tanna gets no opportunity to arise. Yogi report many times during the practice of meditation, Tanna have no chance to arise. <clears throat> so Tanna gets no opportunity to arise and there occurs temporary cessations of Tanna. It may be regarded as cessation by half measure of Tanna by means of your partial development of Vipassana inside knowledge. Every time you practice meditation very thoroughly, and you are realizing the temporary cessation of tanna. And the Pali text provides the exposition of the truth of cessation of craving by answering the question. The question is, where is Tanna? Where may this craving be discarded? Where may this Tanna be extinguished? Wherever in the world, there are Pia Rupa and Sata Rupa, Piya Rupa means delightful things and Sata Rupa means pleasurable things. So to this question, where may this craving be discarded? Where may it be extinguished? The answer is, wherever in the world, there are delightful things, there are pleasurable things, there, this craving may be discarded. There, it may be extinguished. Here, yeah. what do you understand? What are the delightful things? What are the pleasurable things? 
delightful things or pleasurable things, Pia Riba and Santa Riba are six and those, eye do, ear do, nose do, tongue do, body do, and mind do, six sense objects, visual sight, sound, smell, taste, bodily impression, and mind, and six Vinyana, seeing consciousness, hearing consciousness, smelling consciousness, tasting, and touching consciousness, etc. Six Vinyana, and six Pasa, six Contacts, eye contact, ear contact, etc. and six Vedana. feeling born of eye contact, etc. So these six, sem six sense doors, six sense object, six uh, consciousness, six vinyana, and six contact, and six feeling, etc. are uh, delightful things and pleasurable things. So if you want to find more detail, you can find in you can find the text and translation from the Mahasatipatthana Sutta. So here, <clears throat> discarding and extinguishing dana are alike in meaning. They are the same. Similarly, Buddha mentioned Cha Go, Pati Nesa Go, Moti Nalayo. Cha Go, abandoning, giving up, Pati Nesa Go, forsaking, rejection, Moti, release, freedom, emancipation, Nalayo, doing away with. So all connotes the same meaning as niroda, cessation or annihilation. Now yogi practicing, yogi meditating very diligently. When yogi knows, seeing, seeing whatever he or she see at the moment of sight becomes convinced of the true nature of impermanent suffering and no self. Meditator will not be blinded by the delusions of permanence, happiness, and self in the sense door and sense object. I visual object, seeing consciousness, etc. So at that moment, you are momentarily free from awaja, ignorance, or delusion. Because there is no, no blind, no blindness. Just seeing the true nature at the moment of seeing. So yogi is momentarily free from awaja, ignorance, and of having seen reality as it is. And being free from delusion, there is no pleasure of a feeling towards this object. Then it is the tem temporary cessation of craving, it is the temporary fading away of dana. So when craving is fading away, There's no chance to come 
Upadana clinging, no clinging at all. And no karma and sankara, which come trailing after. Karma and sankara cannot arise. Consequently, Vinyana, Namarupa, Salayana, Pasa, and Vedana, the unwholesome resultant karma and sankara cannot appear. It is how you extinguish craving together with suffering at the, uh, when you are meditating, that is called momentary cessation or momentary nibbana, the dinga niroda. So yogi should be very satisfied when you practicing meditation very thoroughly. When you see the true nature, you are realizing momentary nibbana. So in the same way, at the moment of hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, and knowing, you try to note every phenomena diligently, and you come to realize the true nature of their impermanence, suffering, and non-self, with respect to ear, sound, nose, taste, etc. Then you are free from delusion of permanence, happiness, or self in connection with these objects. So there will be momentary cessation of craving and momentary cessation of suffering. It is called momentary nibbana. You practice again and again, you never give up. Second by second, minute by minute, day by day, week by week, month by month, you practice continuously. And through Vipassana, which promotes temporary cessation, as higher knowledge is developed, you will reach the stage of Sattapati Meganyana. Divana is realized by me of the Sattapati Meganyana. So when you reach Sattapati Meganyana, what kind of Sattana? you extinguish. Sotapati Meganyana extinguish Kamatana, which can give rise to rebirth in the states of, uh, in, uh, in the woeful states. So you become fully liberated from miseries of four woeful states. You will never go, go down to hell. You will never be reborn as a hungry ghost, or animal, animal, etc. You are fully liberated from this misery and neither world and suffering of more than seven existences in good states of sensual sphere. So need to remember, Sotapati Meganyana extinguish Kamatana, which can give rise to rebirth, to rebirth in the four woeful states. So can you follow me? Sotapati Meganyana, Extinguish 
Kamadana, which can give rise to rebirth in the four woeful states. Sotabadi Meganyana extinguish Kamadana, which can give rise to rebirth in the four woeful states. So suffering uh, minimized because Sotapanna, Sotapanna may have suffering of more than seven existence in good states of sensual sphere. So not too much, not too much suffering, only seven existence in good states of sensual sphere. And you never give up, you continue to practice. And then when yogi realize, Sagaragami Mega. When yogi become Sagaragami, what kinds of dana you distinguish? Sagaragami Mega Nyana can distinguish grosser form of sensual craving together with suffering of more than two existences in the sensual, sensual realms, sensual planes. So not too many suffering, only two existences in the sensual planes. So need to remember Sagaragami Mega extinguish what dana. Can you follow me? Sagaragami Mega Nyana. Extinguish cross the form of sensual craving together with suffering of more than two existences. So Sotapati Meganyana, uh, Sagaragami Meganyana can extinguish grosser form of sensual craving. When grosser form of sensual craving are uh, extinguished and they have only suffering of more than two existence in the sensual planes. A yogi continue to practice and then when he become anagami, when yogi become anagami, nirvana is realized through anagami meganyana. So, what kinds of dana anagami mega extinguish? Anagami meganyana extinguish subtle forms of sensual craving and suffering of more than one existence in rupa or arupa loka five material sphere or in non-material sphere. So need to remember Nagami Meganyana extinguish subtle forms of sensual craving. So can you follow me? Nagami Meganyana extinguish subtle form of sensual craving. Anagami Meganyana extinguish subtle forms of sensual craving. So Anagami Mega Anagami person have no sensual craving. Sort of anas, this, they have stay they stay they stay have sensual craving but a very gross form of sensual craving, they extinguish. Yes. 
Yogi continued to practice meditation and finally he became he became arhant. So when Nibbana is realized through Aradha Meganyana, what kinds of what kinds of dana can be extinguished by Aradha Meganyana? Aradha Meganyana extinguish all forms of craving, all forms of suffering, all forms of craving and all forms, all kinds of suffering are completely eradicated by the Aradha Meganyana. So can you follow me? Aradha Meganyana extinguish all forms of craving and all kinds of suffering. So Aradha Meganyana for the for the Arhan, for the Aradha Meganyana can extinguish all forms of craving and all kinds of suffering. So that is the extinction of suffering as the result of extinctions of craving. So Masisiro summarized these uh, suffering extinguished, uh, these craving uh, extinguished by, uh, extinguished by Sotapati Mega, Sagragami Mega, Nagami Mega, and Radha Mega, Jnana. <clears throat> so, Mahasisthira have this aphorism. When craving is eradicated, suffering is extinguished. So, can you follow me? When craving is eradicated, suffering is extinguished. When craving is eradicated, suffering is extinguished. So there are other means, other ways to extinguish suffering. Only when craving is completely eradicated, through liberation from suffering, we can achieve. Escape from suffering obtained through other ways is not true liberation, but just temporary relief. Because in due cause, there is recurrence of suffering. Now during the intensive Yogi do very mindfully and very gently, sometimes bending the limbs for long and a lot of stiffness. So to relieve this stiffness, Yogi have to stretch the limbs. This egg is temporarily removed through stretch stretching, but later is tiredness and stiffness come back again. So stretching the limb to relieve the stiffness due to bending, this egg is temporarily really removed through stretching, but it return again. In the same way, stiffness due to prolonged sitting may be relieved by standing and walking meditation, but only to be replaced soon by fatigue. And the whole night Afternoon, you don't take any food. And when you are assailed by hunger, 
the suffering may be relieved by partaking of some food for breakfast and lunch. But the trouble will start again this day. A disease may be cured, running notes, etc., can be cured with suitable medical treatment. But other sickness, other ailments are bound to arise sooner or later to start giving trouble again. So in the life, a lot of difficult difficulties, difficult circumstances of living may be solved by engaging in suitable employment or business. Try to live in a suitable place. Try to associate with the good people and try hard. by engaging in suitable business, which may prove so successful and prosperous, and you may come to occupy a very high position in your profession, or you become a very rich man. Yet, life, this is the of life, ups and downs, You may fall down from the high position or you become poverty stricken. Even if the whole life has been smooth and just plain sailing, you may face suffering at the time of death. You know how to be how to have a happy, prosperous life. You have to do charity, you have to observe sila, and you have to train your moral conduct. You have to develop mindfulness meditation. As a result of meritorious deeds such as giving, observing moral precepts, and you may be reborn as human beings in happy, prosperous circumstances, or you may be born as a powerful celestial king. Yet, when the wholesome effects of previous good deeds become exhausted, a return to miserable existence is inevitable. Some days hope for the long existence and happy existence. So that is Brahma realms. So if Meditators strive for a very happy and long existence by means of Rupa Jhana and Arupa Jhana of the concentration meditation. Meditators have to attain Jhana to become a Brahma, to have a happy long existence. He or she may indeed attain the Rupa Brahma world and Arupa Brahma world, where he may live happily for many world cycles. The wholesome merits of jhana will become exhausted when time comes. Then he have to face the possibility of descending once again into miserable lower existences. 
So unless craving is completely eradicated, no form of liberation is a guarantee true liberation. Complete and permanent liberation from all kinds of suffering can be achieved only when craving has been entirely extinguished. So Buddha taught in the teaching Tassayi Vatanaya Asesa Viraga Nirodo. That eradication, extinction sotana, is the truth of cessation of suffering. It is in accordance with the structuring of dependent origination. But Tejas Mubara, which mentioned that when the causative condition such as awaja, ignorance, etc., cease, their resultant effect, Sinkara, also cease. So it mentioned in in Gautara Nikaya, in Gautara Pali text. So in the Gautara Pali text, Buddha asks, Bekus, what is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering? Dukkha Niroda Riyasicca. Through the total fading away and extinction of awaja, ignorance, Sinkara, karma formation are extinguished. So can you open your book, retreat manual, page 109. In the Ingotara Pali text, Buddha asks, Begus, what is the noble truth or cessation of suffering? The Buddha answered, through the total fading away and extinctions of ignorance, which may be dull, uh, ignorance, karma formation are extinguished. As ignorance completely ceases, karmic volition ceases. And as karmic volition ceases, consciousness ceases, etc. So, Pratijas Mubara, can you follow me in Bali? Away Jaya Dewa Asesa Viraga Niroda Singara Niroda Singara Niroda Wenyana Niroda Wenyana Niroda Nama Ruba Niroda Nama Ruba Niroda Salayana Niroda Salayana Niroda Pasa Nirodo Pasa Nirodo Vedana Nirodo Vedana Nirodo Dana Nirodo Dana Nirodo Uba Dana Nirodo Ubadana Niroda Bawa Niroda Bawa Niroda Jati Niroda Jati Niroda Jaramaranam 
Soga Pari Dewa Toga Domana Subayasa Niro Jandi Ewa Metasa Kewalasa Toga Kandasa Nira Dahadi. So we recite slowly together. We Jaya Dweva Asesa Viraga Nira Dham Singara Nira Dham Singara Nira Dham Vinyana Nira Dham Vinyana Nira Dham Namarupa Nira Dham Nama Ruba Niroda Salayadana Niroda Salayana Niroda Asa Niroda Asa Niroda Vedana Niroda Vedana Niroda Dana Nirodam, Dana Nirodam, Uba Dana Nirodam, Uba Dana Nirodam, Oa Nirodam, Oa Nirodam, Jadi Nirodam, Jadi Nirodam. Jaramaranam Soga Ridewa Doka Domana Subayasa Niro Jandi Ewa Medasa Ewalasa Doga Gandasa Nira Dahadi. Translation, can you follow me? As ignorance completely ceases, karmic volition cease. As karmic volition cease, consciousness ceases. As consciousness ceases, mind matter ceases. As mind matter sees, the six and basis sees, at the six and basis sees, contact ceases. As contact ceases, feeling ceases. As feeling ceases, craving ceases. As craving ceases, Clinging ceases. As clinging ceases, existence of life and volition ceases. As existence of volition ceases, rebirth ceases. As rebirth ceases, decay and death. Sorrow, limitation, Pain, grief, and despair cease. Thus, the whole mass of suffering comes to an end. So that is from Ingodara Nikaya Pali text, Patejas Mubada. So all the suffering sees, rebirth, death, decay, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair are extinguished. So it takes place, the extinction of the whole mass of mere suffering, which is not soul entity, or which or, or it may have any connection with 
happiness. And Buddha said, Bhikkhus, this is called the noble truth of extinctions of this mass of mere suffering. So you can see, you can understand the link by link seizing. So in this text, the sequence of cessation, first the extensions of awaja, extensions of ignorance, karma formation, sankara are extinguished, Through extensions of ignorance, karma formation are extinguished. It's given in a serial order to demonstrate the correlation of each cause with its effect. But the important point to note is that once the ignorance fades away, all its resultant effect, Sinkara, uh, Sinkara become extinguished. So during the practice of meditation, you try to see the true nature. First, you try to see the true nature of psychophysical phenomena by noticing, seeing, hearing, smelling, rising, falling, etc. You can see the elements and the characteristics of these phenomena. And you start to see their fading away, disappearing, their nature or true nature of impermanent suffering and non-self. And then ignorance is extinguished. When ignorance are uh, extinguished and karma formation are extinguished, and then all the suffering can be momentarily extinguished. So we will continue tomorrow. We have to stop our discourse for today by practicing vipassana meditation, by observing every phenomena occurring at the six and doors. May you, may they have be extinguished. Aging, sickness, death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. May you all, may all yogis be liberated from all suffering. May all yogis realize the real peace in the very near future.